So we've been working the edge of the bait and just as we came through, we got two shots, picked up this one, which is a nice dolly. Lovely colours. I'm just slowly edging in towards the fish and that's the way you do it. It's a food How's the food? Uh, good, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> you pulling hard? Yeah. Well, Lukey boy, not bad, eh? We'll just net this guy. He's pretty tired. These things can be a bit of trouble. Just slide him in there. Drop the net so you can slide him down a bit. And then we'll just lift him up. Now have a look at this baby. That is one very nice dolphin fish. What we'll do. These things can be pretty dangerous at times. So you just got to take them with a bit of care. We'll start going in a minute. Circle hook perfectly in the jaw. Which I'll pull him around so you can see. Now you can see here why we love the circle hook so much with live baiting. You see how it's perfectly through the corner of the jaw? You get a much better hookup rate with circle hooks and when they're on you don't really lose them as much. So how do you feel with something like this? Very good. Yeah, it's the biggest fish I've ever caught. So this is what it's all about with live baiting. Work the bait schools you get a whole lot of fish. You get awesome fish like this beautiful coloured dolphin, which is a male because you can tell because his head's squared off. So it's pretty good stuff. The dolphin fish, or mahi as many people call them, have been absolutely amazing on the camera. Unlike the kingfish that had the genuine black band down their eyes, the mahi were almost translucent in colour. But what was really amazing was that their eyes almost glowed in the water. They actually looked evil as they came up on the baits. The second thing we've learned with troll cam on the mahi was how they really hammer the baits. They pack in together and just keep hounding the bait. It gives us a better understanding to what's going on out wide when our baits come back beaten up. You can understand how marlin fishermen get a bit annoyed by dolphin fish smashing their baits up. But also when we see them around the fads, bizarre how they all pack in on the fad. And it certainly makes you think about the idea of as soon as you're standing on the surface, go and have a look. There's a good chance, so long as the water's warm, there's a mahi underneath it.